It's arguably the most dangerous thing that you do every day that kills thousands of people every year. And sooner than you think, it's gonna go bye-bye. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Of all the things I do in my life, driving is statistically the most likely activity to end up seriously injuring or killing me. Driving is dangerous, man, and nobody talks about it. Needless to say, I do drive very carefully, but it's not entirely up to me. I also have to rely on other people not to crash into me, which, have you seen what it's like out there? There are over six million car accidents every year. I trust no one. So this is why I'm really excited for self-driving cars to be a thing, not just a test thing, but a worldwide thing that's a part of everyday life. A new study by IHS Automotive is now giving us a timeline for this world-changing technology. The research indicates that by 2020, self-driving cars will start to hit the roads. Then by 2035, there will be 54 million self-driving cars on the road, with about half of North American car sales being self-driving. By 2050, pretty much all vehicles will be self-driving. So far, Nissan, Google, and General Motor are leading the way. So how do these babies work? Two main ways. One, it integrates all the cool driver aids that already exist. Things like cruise control, auto park, lane keeping systems, acceleration and braking. All of those available features are integrated into one software system, which is then supplemented with, the second way it works, sensors. The car is covered in cameras, radar, and LiDAR sensors, which is the same as radar, but with light waves. This allows the car to have awareness of every little thing going on around the vehicle. It maps the roadways, detects traffic, pedestrians, potholes, and deer. It reads road signs and speed limits. So this awareness of the road at all times far exceeds our ability as humans, even in situations that are unpredictable. So what does this mean for the future? Let's think about it. Drunk driving, a thing of the past. Speeding, a thing of the past. Road rage, a thing of the past, thank God. Sleepy driving, a thing of the past. Distracted driving, calling, texting, tweeting, Instagramming behind the wheel, all a thing of the past. Human error is responsible for over 90% of accidents, meaning that car crashes themselves will slowly fizzle out. Long, boring commutes with nothing to do, also a thing of the past. Some analysts predict that traffic will be reduced or even eliminated. It'll be easier for the elderly and people with disabilities to get around, and techie types are already predicting that even things like running errands will dramatically change. If your car drives itself, why not just send it to pick up your groceries that you ordered online? Of course, there will be challenges. How will the government and insurance companies handle all of this? Some states have already created laws to regulate self-driving cars, but this still could get really messy. It could put drivers of buses, shuttles, and taxis, a whole industry, out of work. It could be really expensive to buy the car, and of course, drivers may be reluctant to trust their automated replacement. So down below, are you down to let your car drive you instead of you driving it? Let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you folks next time with more Dini's updates.